In 1907, on Eastern Kentucky University's campus, students did most of their research in a 300-volume library that has served as a storehouse for baled hay, known as the Walters Collegiate Institute. The Walters Building remained Eastern's library until the fall of 1918. The building started having multiple maintenance problems and the building's issues grew beyond repair. It was then condemned and demolished. In 1918, the library was moved to the front half of the Kamek Building. The library remained in Kamek until 1924. Construction bids opened for the Crab Library on April 14, 1917. In 1924, a two-story brick and stone structure was completed at the cost of about $53,000. The Crab Library was named and dedicated to Eastern's second president, John Grant Crabb, in 1929. Crabb fought tirelessly for a state-of-the-art library and continued improvement of instruction. Dr. Crabb's work while superintendent is part of the history of Kentucky. The original Crabb Library included a main floor with the lobby, delivery desk, and stack room. The library had two larger reading rooms, a reference room, librarian's office, and catalog room. The main collection of books and magazines were placed in the stack room equipped with steel stacks. In 1935, construction began on the grand reading room that was completed in 1936 at a cost of $94,000. During the 1965 to 66 academic years, the library's holdings were moved to other locations around campus and a $2.5 million renovation project was completed. In 1967, the library reopened its doors with the brand new Grand Reading Room with the design to house half a million volumes. The design of the library was supposed to be contemporary, but was flavored with Italian Renaissance and accents. The building has gracefully arched windows of glare, reducing glass to render a light and airy impression. The effect is to produce a striking harmony with the contemporary lines of the neighboring Combs Building and the neat lines of the Greek Revival style of the University Building, completed in 1874. In 1991, the construction of the library expansion was funded and the Board of Regents began accepting bids for the $13.3 million in bonds that were issued. When the project was completed, the four-floor expansion connected the library to the University Building and included the Thomas and Hazel Little Library Edition. In April of 1996, the Little Building Dedication Ceremony commenced, honoring Thomas and Hazel Little, who were honorary degree recipients and EKU alumni. The expansion began in 1992 and took approximately 15 to 18 months to complete. The parking lot between Combs and the University buildings became a plaza, and the newly expanded library grew to 106,735 square feet. In January 2008, EKU alumni Ron and Sherry Lou Noel donated over $1 million for the construction of the Noel Studio for the purpose of broadening the students' learning and creativity. In early August, construction of the Noel Studio began and was completed by 2010. The new Noel Writing Studio was created to improve the communication and research skills necessary for the advancement of the EKU community, provide a unique space designed for creative and critical thinking, and provide a learning experience like no other through the use of innovative technology and highly trained consultants. The Crab Library has four spacious floors, contains a law library, learning resource center, special collections and archives, documents, reference, and periodicals, along with several classrooms and seminar rooms and Java City. As of today, the Crab Library has 625,241 books, 52,000 square feet of quiet study space, 33,295 electronic journals, 10,995 students taught via library instruction. With over 584,408 visitors, Crab Library is home to history, knowledge, creativity, and innovation for those eager to learn and move forward.